Hello and welcome to my channel. This reading is for those of you that have strongly Aquarius in your chart, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus and Jupiter for October 2019. Please have in mind that this is a general reading, so the messages that will come through may or may not resonate with you. If you're interested in a personal reading, all the information you need is down there below. Okay, Aquarius, let's see. Mm. There was an ending, a lot of endings in September. And like, th like this is following you through October, but it's good because it's transforming. It's not just death and that's it. It's, it's not, I'm hearing that it's not over. It's just transformed, whatever this was. It had to change. It had to transform because the situation became a burden for you, Aquarius. You could not handle it anymore. That's why you did put an end to it, okay? You listened to your intuition. You heard the calling and you ended things. Vice versa, okay? Whatever I say can go the other way around. So, Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. <laughs> Ten of Swords on the floor. Rest in peace. Justice will be served. Justice was served when you ended the cycle between you and this person or whatever what this was that was, has, that became a burden, okay? This could also be something that was in uh, like um, a mindset or a, a way of, of, of a perspective, a way of thinking, yeah? Okay. Okay, Aquarius, on the bottom of the deck, we, you, uh, you have the Page of Swords. Now, someone is watching you. Someone wants to get information for you. Okay. Aquarius, maybe this person feels that you have someone else on the side because you did detach, you did end things. So you're like, how is this possible? My Aquarius must have someone else. They are searching for information. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's see. First card for you. Seriously? The death card. Okay, so there was an ending. 100% sure. <laughs> uh, ten of Cups. You're happy that things are over. So happy you are going to celebrate. The Tower. The Two of Pentacles. The Four of Swords. So someone here is, fe is healing after separation. This could be you or the other person or both of you. The Chariot going off to new things, better things, more balanced things, more harmonious, okay? Seven of Wands, Knight of Wands, excuse me, and the Six of Swords. As I said, you are moving forward in better things, okay? But I feel that both of you are on the boat, so. Okay, this is interesting, let me see. Yeah, I wanna clarify the Death card. There is strongly Scorpio energy here, Cancerian energy. Let's clarify the death card, please. Okay. Now, this is the end of a battle. This is the end of a conflict. The end of, the, of, a, bar, of, a, bar, of a bottle. The end of a battle. The end, the end, the end. 
And the outcome, as you can see here with the justice card, is just. So there was forgiveness here. Self-forgiveness and, yeah, also forgiving the other person that hurt you, Aquarius. It doesn't mean that you are with them, okay? Or that you are going to reconcile, but you have forgiven this person. Because they don't know better. They don't. I want to clarify the Four of Swords for Aquarius, please. We have the Four of Wands with the Four of Swords, the Two of Swords, the Three of Pentacles, the Nine of Pentacles for Aquarius. Yeah, this is the end of a cycle. Uh, someone is not going to... Okay. Oh. Aquarius, someone is rushing in here. But even though they are rushing in, 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 in an unbalanced way, no, sorry, this is what I want to say. Sorry, I got distracted, okay? So, we have someone that is rushing in, but this energy, m most of the times is like, mm, uh, not serious, a bit immature, a bit uh, like, you know, but... It's followed by the the two by the by, by temperance. <laughs> oh, I need to clarify this. One minute, please. Oh. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. That's your energy. Now, this is not for all of you, but it is for a couple of you. There was a mis miscommunication, misunderstanding. I feel some ego strongly here. Okay, mm -hmm. an offer was made to you or by you, but it was not uh, accepted. No, it was not. And again, I'm getting a lot of ego here. A lot of ego. I want to clarify the uh, Ten of Cups for Aquarius, please. The Ten of Cups for Aquarius. The Sun card. Forgive, yeah. Someone uh, wants your forgiveness, but still you, you, you're not going to go know the whole story. They are offering, offering you forgiveness. And I feel that you are going to um, accept them back with, uh, um, but you're very mindful. You are watching their moves. Mm, you see? You are in your power. You are stable, but they are not stable. This is what I'm viewing here. You are the queen of stability, and they are... Um, they're, they're immature, Aquarius, okay? They, they have this potential, and this is also what you are seeing in them, the emperor quality. They do have this, but at this time, it's very restored. Re rest no, distorted. This, their energy is distorted. With the Devil card here and the Emperor. With the Ace of Cups. Uh, with the Ace of Cups. This person feels defeated. They are working out of, from their ego. They have strong feelings, but they don't want to show their feelings. Their, their energy is distorted. This emperor is distorted. His energy is distorted. That's why he comes out, out as the page of pentacles. Low vibrational emperor. Low vibrational emperor. So at this time, he's not in his power. And it doesn't have to be a man, it could be also a woman, okay? That's why I'm getting here that you decided, because of this energy of this emperor, you made a decision, Aquarius, to uh, bring the tower down. But there is forgiveness, like, seriously, like, page of cups, knight of cups, you see that? And the sun card. So someone here wants to reconcile. But I feel that, again, like, I feel that there is a lack of trust here. 
You want to know the truth, but it is not presented to you. At least not yet. So that's why I'm getting a bit of a resentment here from your side. And I'm getting mostly that this resentment comes from the female energy. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, I want to clarify the chariot. I, I'm seeing you moving forward, Aquarius. There is... Okay. Ooh. There is communication coming in. Whoever was holding back communication, communication is going to be restored. This, the message is the same. Guys, I don't know what's going on. I don't know. This is uh, like for almost all of the readings, this is what I'm getting. But someone is not settling. Someone is walking away. And as soon as, you know, Aquarius, as soon as you finally make the choice to move forward here with the chariot and the six of swords, someone wants to stop you. Someone does not want you to go. And they are going to communicate with you that you are their, their star, that you are their wish fulfillment. Finally, this emperor, this emperor that has so, a lot of strong feelings for you is finally going to open up and express their feelings because you are moving forward. And it's not a secret that you are moving forward. Okay? You see, this person was holding back, self-sabotage, lack of confidence. And now they are going to communicate. Because probably they see or they, they know that this energy did not serve them, did not bring anything on the table. It only made you make up your, you know, make a choice. And what was your choice? To stick around and wait for this uh, person to finally realize like who you are? No, you're not sticking around anymore. You are moving forward. And they want you back, Aquarius. This is clear. I want to clarify the two of pentacles for Aquarius. Aquarius. Five of Pentacles, the Queen of Swords, the Fool, the Wheel of Fortune, the Six of Cups, and the Ace of Pentacles, and one more. Whoever was holding back wants to work, like, seriously, yeah? Look at this. Someone here was juggling, okay, I'm telling you, this person was not serious. In and out, out and in, don't know what I want. I'm so confused, Mr. Emperor here, who was showing up as the Page of Pentacles, not really offering anything, not really like moving this forward, you know, contemplating, thinking or hoping or even like, I feel this Emperor was sure that you, will, that you would not move. This emperor was sure that they had you, but they were so wrong, Aquarius, so wrong. Both of you felt this energy of the five of pentacles, both of you did, because you share strong feelings for each other, period, okay? You, Aquarius, that's your energy here, the queen of swords, embarking into a new adventure with the full card, and, of course, the Wheel of Fortune here, this is clear, okay? You don't want to feel left out anymore. You're leaving this in the past, and you're looking forward. You're looking into your future, into your bright future. This person does not want you to go, does not want you to move forward, but you are going to move forward. And if they want you, they can follow you and get you, okay? Don't stop your, preg your pregnancy, I was about to say. I was about to say, don't stop your pregnancy. I don't know for whom this message is for. That was weird. Uh, okay. Yeah, someone here wants more time, but you don't have time. Let's see. Yeah, you are not willing to move forward 
with this person. You are not going to accept, uh, again, you're not going to accept this person's offer. Some of you will, some of you won't. You are not accepting their offer because it's a page. Okay, I don't know if you're dealing with the Virgo strongly, like, uh, I see a lot of, uh, um, you don't have to be dealing with a Virgo, but yeah. You see, you're not accepting what they are offering you because this offer is very, very small and you don't deserve this offer and you know it, okay? And I get, I, I, for a lot of you, this offer made you bring the tower down. You're like, serious? You're serious. You are offering me what? No. F this. F this. And you brought the tower down. And then good for you, Aquarius. <laughs> Let's clarify the tower. This brought you freedom. This this tower that oh ooh, a lot of them. Okay. We have the Queen of Wands that walked away. <laughs> you see the confidence of this woman. She is not settling. She is not afraid. That's your energy. Walking away, moving forward, showing a lot of strength here. Okay. Aquarius, maybe someone left you and this could be a Leo. I'm just saying. Okay. <laughs> but... As I said, Aquarius, you walked away, you showed a lot of strength, but you are looking into your future here and you want to be happy. You want your future to be bright. You want to clear yourself from drama and from confusion. Okay. The Six of Cups for Aquarius. You see, you stopped waiting. Again, I'm so happy. Ugh. I'm getting so excited. I'm sorry I'm doing a little bit cuckoo now, but I'm so happy. This energy has been coming out for a lot of zodiac signs, and I love it. Because it's like, finally, you know, we have been waiting for what? This waiting has caused us so much pain. We don't have to wait anymore. We do not have to choose this energy. We are, you know, we don't have to be in this energy of the three of swords and the five of cups waiting for who and for what. This is what a lot of us are, a lot of us are re is, uh, like, is realizing in October, you do not wait for nothing and for no one. And, and, and of drama. This is drama. Oh, I'm waiting for you, my love. When are you going to come to me? Like, seriously? Wait, I've been there. Okay, I've been there. So, let's see what message will come through. That you have a beautiful cycle that wants to open up for you. You know it intuitively. You're hearing the calling, Aquarius. You are not waiting for no one and nothing. And I'm sorry if I'm repeating. I'm also very excited because, as I said, this energy is coming up for almost every zodiac sign. And this is what we have to do. We have to hear our calling. Okay. There isn't a soul on the planet who doesn't crave your approval. The only difference between a friend and a foe is that you've decided where love can grow 
<laughs> waiting for who? You don't... Anyway, I don't want to go there because I get a little bit excited here and yeah. Okay, let's see now what are the keywords that you have to take in consideration throughout October, Aquarius. Whoever was holding back, I, I, I think I didn't say that, no, I didn't. Whoever was holding back this grant offer is about to offer, okay? Because why? Because you changed your energy. That's why. You changed your energy. You released yourself from drama. And now you are going to be rewarded because it was not easy for you to stop waiting, to stop wanting, to stop wishing for this person to return, okay? Okay, Aquarius, the, okay. The marrying maiden. A compromising situation. Some coming to seduction, manipulation, low self-esteem. I'm sorry, but I feel this strongly. This person has, so, has very low self-esteem. But you are not going back there, so that's okay. Maybe these are the words to remind you in October where you were, where you are, and where you're heading. Okay? Now, Aquarius, let's see what is your spiritual message for October. You see, this she has chains. You see, she has chains around her heart, around her chest here. Like... You're cutting this, you're cutting this energy and you are free from it. You are embarking in a new adventure here with the full card, okay? I love this energy for you, Aquarius. Okay, let's see. Thank you. This is the one, the first one. And we have Nameless. Mystery Stone, Great Mystery, The Void. This is your vastness. Fill it in as you choose. You will regardless. What do you wish? All is before you and within you. You are the creator. Okay, you are. And this is what you want. You want to create a beautiful future for yourself that has a lot of joy, a lot of harmony. Yes? Yes. Aquarius, this is what I got for you. If this reading did not resonate, you can also watch your moon, your rising, your Venus, and you Jupiter.